Using air pressure, close clamp jaws with one panel between the tips. Loosen both screws and remove the lever from the locating hole. The double sheet detection option can be identified by the red arrow on the label on the switch housing cover. Slide the housing in the direction of the arrow toward the jaws until the switch just turns on. Rotate the lever into the hole that matches the present housing location and snug screw, but do not tighten. The housing should still slide back and forth. Wiggle the housing forward and backward. If the switch flickers off and on, rotate the lever into the next hole with a higher number, for example, from 2 to 3. snug screw, but do not tighten. Wiggle the housing again. The switch should stay on. If not, continue to the higher numbered hole until the switch does not flicker. Tighten both screws to 85 inch pounds. The switch is now set. To test the setup, using air pressure, close clamp jaws with one panel between the tips. The switch should stay on. Close clamp jaws with two panels between the tips. The switch should turn off. Note, with no panel present, the switch will turn on and remain on as the target passes under the switch. The double sheet detection option requires a longer pivot pin and drive pin. The elongated slot on the back of the target mounts to the drive pin. Assembly note for double sheet detection options. The notch in the target must face the switch. The target slides forward and backward as the clamp opens and closes. As the target passes in front of the switch, the switch turns on. Align the elongated slot on the back of the target with the drive pin and install the housing. Thread the screws into the clamp body and tighten to 85 inch pounds. Make sure the lever is seated into the adjustment hole before tightening the screw.